Welcome back to potions class. My name is Lucia and today I have a potion for you that will leave you feeling energized, radiant, and looking gorgeous for the day to come. This beautifying concoction is easy to make and you can even make a large batch, prepped and ready in the fridge for a no fuss morning. So I tested this recipe yesterday and to be honest, I really loved it. And my mom also loved it and I think this is definitely a keeper for my potions arsenal. Especially now that the weather is getting warmer, I know that I'll be making this drink on a regular basis. Come on, who doesn't want a cocktail that's good for your skin? So without further ado, let's craft our morning glow. So for this potion, you will need some water, jasmine tea or jasmine tea bags, some honey, some orange blossom water, lavender, and whiskey. Herbal facts. Jasmine is associated with sensuality and spirituality. It's often used in love spells, divination, and beauty. Honey relates to deep connections, enduring love, and prosperity. There's a reason why the sweetest part of a relationship is called the honeymoon phase. Lavender attracts interest from others while simultaneously sharpening the wits of the user. First, bring one cup of water to a boil. Add two tablespoons of honey and half teaspoon of orange blossom water. Stir to dissolve and allow to cool for three minutes. Add two teaspoons of jasmine tea leaves or two jasmine tea bags into your honey water. Add seven lavender flower buds and allow to steep for another three minutes. You don't want to add too much lavender as it can easily overpower your drink. Strain out your tea and herbs and refrigerate until cool, about an hour. When your mixture is cool, add some ice to a glass. I'm using some floral ice spheres for an aesthetic touch. Add one and a half tablespoons of whiskey and top off with your tea. Feel free to garnish with more dried buds as well as a lemon slice. And ta-da! Morning glow is complete. It's taste testing time. Yep. This is so good. It's super easy to drink and I'm amazed that I can't taste the whiskey at all. So this drink is meant to be consumed in the morning and I was thinking, should people really be drinking alcohol the first thing when they wake up? I mean, most people should be staying at home anyway, so yeah, it's fine. It honestly mostly just tastes like honey green tea. I do get a hint of orange blossom, but not so much the lavender which is good, I guess, for people who don't really like things that are too floral. Honestly, I think this would be amazing for brunch when we're allowed to meet people again. Or when you have a barbecue. It's nice and neutral, so it actually goes well with pretty much anything. Actually, this would be really good for a little spa day at home since green tea is actually really good for your skin. So when you need some rest and relaxation, just brew this potion and then put on a face mask, clay mask, whatever you have, and then enjoy the glow up. So this drink actually comes from potions, elixirs, and brews, and every recipe in this book contains a ritual as well. So for this particular drink, the ritual is to drink and repeat the charm, I bloom, they swoon, seven times prior to gazing into any mirror. So I guess I'll give this a try. 
I bloom they soon, 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 I bloom they soon. Did it work? Well, that wraps up today's class. Thank you for joining me. Please hit the bell, like, and subscribe. It would help me out a lot. If you guys have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave it down in the comments below. I look forward to seeing you guys again next week. And until then, class is dismissed. Stay magical!